What's up everybody, Tony Beats Guy here with another video. You probably see from this title, we got something a little bit different today. The people over at Easy SMX, they make mice. They actually wanted to send me one of their mouse and let me have a check at it, take a look at it, play around with it, and actually give you a setup video for my channel. I talked to them and they said, we want to challenge you to show off this mouse and actually do one of your uh, setup videos and show people what you're actually working with when you do gaming. Now I want to thank them for sponsoring the channel and what we will do is we'll check out the Easy SMX mouse and then we'll go into my full gaming setup. Again, anything that I talk about in the gaming setup, I'll try to link in the description of this video and I'll even link to the Easy SMX mouse that you guys can check out. So let's take a look at this mouse. So the first thing you'll notice is that it has the adjustable DPI and what that means in layman terms is that there's eight different levels that you can set it to and you can switch it instantly by clicking two buttons. Um, DPI means how fast your mouse moves across the screen. So if you want it to go across the screen, really fast or really slow you can adjust it on the fly there's also a rapid response button there's a fire button for double attack meaning you get the hit rate of double so when you're shooting it shoots twice as fast and then you can also instantly shift dpi by pressing the sniper button this will give you 400 dpi meaning if you're zooming in to snipe somebody all the way across the map let's say you're playing h1z1 or PUBG, and you're sniping all the way across the map you can slow down so you can get that precision shot that you need there's also a weight tuning set with five built-in weights to adjust at the bottom. You can simply add or remove weights as you prefer to get your best gaming experience. To me, I actually prefer it the way that it is, but I haven't really played around with the weights because I didn't see the need to play around with the weights. But maybe at one point I can go in and take and adjust the weights and see the rate on this mouse as you move it back and forth. But again, I thought it was just a nice mix. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too soft. I thought it was just, it was perfect. One of the other things is the ergonomic shape and the non-slip design. Of course, the mouse can be very, very hard to get right, but I feel like when I put my hand on this mouse, it just fits perfectly. It's not too small. It's not too big. It's not too uh, slippery or non-slippery. I think it's just a great mix right there. It's got the ergonomic shape that you want, and it has that design that makes it for long uses. Um, it also does have the wider range of compatibility from Windows 7, 8, 10, XP, Mac, and it is plug and play so you can put it directly into your USB and it works right away. That DPI change, you don't have to do anything special to get it to work. All you do is just click the button and it works right out of the box. So let's go ahead and look at my main setup for my gaming slash recording and I'm not going to go any computer specs, but I will just talk about a lot of other things. So off of the side, I have all my hoodies hanging up from the Streamlabs one to the Discord partner hoodie to a bunch of other hoodies I have over there. I also have a nice hat rack that I like because, I don't know, I just recently got into hats and I really like wearing hats all the time. As far as the stuff in the background goes, when you see that I stream, I got it from various different things from my fiance to WWE Slam Crate to just collecting it over the years. Next, we're going to talk about the clutch chair. It is the gaming chair. It is so comfortable to sit in. If you guys want to get one, oh yeah, the Macho Man. Use code Tony Pizza Guy to save 15%. As far as the monitors go, I have three of the HP Pavilion 25XI monitors. I really, really, really love these. I would never go back to a single monitor setup. And now we'll just talk about some of the things I have here. I have a metal rack that I set a whole bunch of my equipment on. At the bottom, you saw that I had the Tascam DR40. Um, I have the Elgato HD60 sitting there next to my Xbox 360. Um, as far as the boxes go, I like to just keep the boxes. I don't know why. Next to my Vizio soundbar and my Sony headphones as well as Beats and an extra pair of Gunners. Um, when I was talking about the Mackie Pro FX8, this is actually how I capture all of my XLR audio. It's very awesome. You can mess with the levels and make it sound good, good, good. Um, down here, I do have an extra... Elgato HD60 in case I need to do any portable recording. Now let's talk about my main audio setup. What I use is the Rode Procaster attached to a shock mount and a Rode mic arm. I use the shock mount so if I move it around it doesn't make any noise and I also have a little filter, pop filter on top of it. Um, as far as the camera goes and the lighting goes, I have the Logitech C920 camera. Now a lot of people are going to say that's not up to par with having a very good webcam. But the thing is you can record in 1080p and if you have these two softbox lights that I have, the lighting and the camera just make each other look really, really good together. So now let's talk about what's on the desk. As you can see, I do have the Easy SMX mouse along with the Razer Desk Stalker keyboard. I do have a Mad Cats USB 360 controller and a PS4 controller because I use both of those. 
And over here is probably the two favorite things are the gunner glasses where you can actually filter out all the bad blue light and make your eyes feel good when you game for a long time. And then we have the HDMI to lightning connector so we can record any of our mobile gaming from our iPhone. As you can see, it's kind of beaten up because with these iPhone cords, they tend to split over time. So I added some electrical tape and it actually works really, really good. Um, just happens with iPhone products over time. I don't know why that is, but it happens with my chargers and it even happens with this HDMI to lightning adapter. So I don't know why that is, it just happens. Now over here, we have the Easy ACC power bank. You guys have probably seen the review, but if you haven't, check it out. It's how I charge all my devices and keep it going for a long time. One of the things you guys probably didn't know is that my green screen is actually above me when I stream at all times. Basically what I did is I went to the craft store and got a green sheet. I pinned it up on the ceiling and then whenever I want to use it, I just let that pin down, put it behind me and I can chroma key myself out. And it's a really nice feature. I definitely do want to upgrade at one point, um, but this works in the meantime. So I want to thank Easy SMX for checking out my channel, sponsoring this video and letting me do this setup again. I want to thank them for the mouse that they sent over. I really do love it. The DPI thing, I never knew that was something that I wanted in a mouse. But now that I can change the DPI on the fly and move my mouse faster or slower, FPS games are just, they've, they've just changed the game for me. They really have. And I want to thank them again for sponsoring this video. And also again, guys, if you want to check out any of the stuff that I got in my setup, my daily setup, you can follow it in the link in the description. Anyway, guys, check out the Easy SMX mounts. Thank you for sponsoring the video. And as always, we'll be back with another video. Tony Beats Guy 2. Sweet!